What's happening, folks? And happy Thursday to you guys, man. Hope you guys had a great, uh, great day. All right. The weekend is tomorrow. And, and guess what just came out a couple days ago? This was actually brought to my attention today. I, I've been so busy, so busy at work. Things have been crazy. I haven't even had time to realize what is happening here in the video game world. So the game that we all fell in love with, well, maybe not everybody, because it does, it does uh, kind of speak to a particular audience, but... The game we did fall in love with a long time ago, we played the hell out of it, we played a lot of it, we played almost all of it. There is still a lot we could do in that particular game, but now that the second version of that said game is now here, it's ready. Oh my gosh, my cat is trying to claw up the back, crawl up the back of my back. What are you doing, homie? Get! Be gone! Anyways, nice little rude interruption. Cats are fantastic, let me tell you what. They are the strangest animals in the world. My daughter wanted a cat years ago, so we got one. And it's just like it walked up behind me and literally tried to crawl up my back. But <laughs> anyways, um, there goes that intro. We're just going to get right, right into the game, guys. Drug Dealer Simulator number two is out, ready to go. It is there for purchase. We did the demo version, guys, and it was a huge success, dude. It was a, a legit game. The map looks massive, right? It looks like a lot of opportunity for us to grow our business and become the boss. Because essentially, in this game, you can become the boss, right? You can be the big dog, the big cartel guy, whatever you want to call yourself. Call yourself homie, Pedro, snacks. I don't give a crap what you call yourself. Just call yourself the boss. So... We can actually continue, so I'm not as sure if we're continuing from the prologue version of this game. I'm assuming, I'm assuming we probably are, but let's jump in here, folks. Let's see where we are continuing. Okay, so it looks like we're continuing somewhere. You can do like online, allow other players to join this game. Hey, y'all want to play together? Let me know, bro. <laughs> we'll, we'll stream, we'll play together, we'll have a good time. So let's go ahead and jump in where we left off, which we were just kind of exploring the islands because there's more than one, right? There's more than one island, man. You can go to this island, go to that island. So I think we were just trying to distribute some drugs, trying to uh give our clientele their medicine because that's all it is you know what i'm saying it's just a little bit of medicine folks if you need medicine that's what we got for you all right laboratories trays uh, okay i only read two two uh words in that uh in that that uh little sentence hang on one second Give me one minute All right, I had to do a little text message here. Okay, so back into it. So it looks like this is uh, where we left off. I mean, this is like the exact place. I got to tell you guys, man, this is actually the first game that we've ever played where we did a prologue version or demo version. And we actually left off where we left off in a demo version. That doesn't typically happen. Usually you start over because there's a lot of new things. But where are sh where where we have no shoes? Where are our shoes? Why do we not have shoes? Why is it so quiet? I know we have the music down a little bit. Is it down that much? It must be streamer mode. What is that? We're gonna click it. <laughs> I don't know what that means. We're just gonna do it. Yo, bro, we're streaming, right? We got to do it. Come on now, playa. All right, guys. These are still the dirtiest freaking mattresses in the world. Actually, I have seen dirtier. I've seen more disgusting. Not good, not cool, and not a thing that anybody should be doing. All right. Well, let's hop back down here, guys. We'll climb down our little our little stairs here. What's up? You look a little bit different. You good? You're not on fire this time. That's fantastic. Hey, you handled these sales, right? I did. I li oh, I come on, man. Hurry up. Awesome. Dude, I, I thought I handled everything. Like, let's see here. We have our phone. We have uh, make schedule deliver. So we still have to go make more deliveries. I thought we did that, folks. Did we not make deliveries? I guess we will go see if we can go make some more deliveries because I thought we had three. We made three deliveries. I don't think we have any other pro. Oh, my gosh. My God does not have a shirt on. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> What the, what the hell? Are we about to go deliver dope with our our boxers? <laughs> like, dude, 
All right, well, uh, cartel prog progress successfully saved. We got to get some clothes on, guys. We cannot be delivered dope in our, our undies, man. No, Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that nonsense. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get some some clothes here. We are, we're, we're in a tropical area, right? It's a tropical island, essentially. Let's get a tank top. All right, can we, can we look at it when it's on? I guess not. Uh, how about some, what do you call, like loafers or something like that? I forget what those are called. We gotta have a hat, guys. We gotta protect our our heads. We don't have the option to have any shorts. We're going to just go ahead and put those on, some pants. Looks absolutely hot to me, but hey, what do I know? Not much, I guess. We're going to have a small backpack as well, folks. Let's confirm that. Now, let's check our guy out. He is still naked. Bro, what? Oh my gosh, we really don't have anything. What? Look at his belly. <laughs> what the hell? What is going on? Put, do I gotta actually, oh, I gotta actually put it there. There we go. That makes, we can go like this. Let's do this. All right, I am your neighborhood drug dealer. Uh, what can I get for you? We can have a little backpack here. Put the backpack on. There we go. Oh man, this is looking fantastic. All right, I will give him some pants. We'll do those because it's, you know, a little sporty type pants. It's still, it's not as bad as jeans in my opinion because they breathe a little bit better, right? They breathe a little bit better. Okay, so we have, we have some cannabis, some marijuana. All right, let's go ahead and slide down the pole. <gasps> oh gosh, don't do that. Holy shiznit, dude. I did not think we're going to hurt ourselves. Oh, I, hello. We are out. We're going to deliver everything. We are finally dressed, buddy. We are finally dressed, so let's go ahead and I hope this is okay. I, I have my mouse in my head is running rapidly right now. I really hope we're not just like finishing the prologue version of this game and we haven't really even started the actual game because that would be pretty messed up, right? How, are we crouching or did we break a leg? What is going on? I don't even know. Okay, so we do have an order to get out there. And again, guys, I wish they would have changed this, bro. I don't know who we're giving drugs to. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the inventory. Does it tell me who we have to do uh, have to deliver to? It does not. So we go to J for journal. All right, J for journal. And it says, yes, we know how to save games. We are good to go there. Here is our map. We know everything about our map. Our phone is right here make the scheduled deliveries okay so we're gonna make the scheduled deliveries folks we just don't know where we're going okay here we go here we go i got it deliver two grams of marijuana to victor on the small island so i i guess this is probably going to be the small island so let's go ahead and find victor it, it still isn't the best right why isn't uh i guess well okay again my mouse in my head is going a million miles an hour so if they're trying to base this off of reality, off of real life, right? If we're trying to go deliver dope to somebody, we have to at least know where they're at. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I know I'm going to go deliver jo uh, jope, dope to Joe Blow, but I need, like, is Joe Blow in a corner of number nine in Seaway? Like, what, is he at an intersection? Is he at a house? Is he just walking around the island? Like, where is homeboy at? So they should at least give us some kind of coordinates that we can go off of just to see. God damn it, we're stuck in the mountain or the bush just so we know where this dude's, dude's at. But either way, guys, we'll go ahead and scope the island out. Very, very sketchy night. I feel like a pirate of the Caribbean is going to come over here and eat me, dude. It's a very, very spooky and misty, foggy conditions on the ocean. Not good, man. Very, very terrified right now, actually. I don't like to know, or I don't like to uh, see the smoke and fog coming off the ocean. All right, anyways, guys, let's find Victor, I think it is. Somebody's jamming. Somebody's got a party. Oh, yeah, anybody see Victor? What is, uh, I see a light. What is that light? Oh, it's just a, uh, just little, Little uh, light porch light there, nothing, nothing too crazy. All right, well we're gonna just gonna just kind of walk around and see if we can find this dude. You know, maybe once we get more into the game, there might be like what we're talking about, some kind of in indication of where these people are. Because I cannot imagine, I'm not a drug dealer, guys. I, I will never be a drug dealer in real life, but I can't imagine that drug dealers just drive around town looking for their person that they're supposed to, to uh, deliver drugs to. I have to imagine they have an idea where that person is because that would make for a very lengthy process when it came to delivering drugs. If you're just literally driving around 
yelling out, Hey, Victor! Victor, where are you, my good friend? I need to de deliver you some drugs, Victor! You know, you're just not gonna do that. That wouldn't make a bit of sense whatsoever, my friends. But you know what? What do I know? I've never been a drug dealer. I never played or I never made a video game. But I can only go based off what we did in Drug Dealer Simulator number one, where we had specific locations to find our peeps. Hey, do you know where Victor is? Hello, you're not much of a talker, I see. Okay, you're not Polar Wind. That is going to be us. All right, nobody down here. So, I hear a cat, by the way. This That's not my cat. My cat is gone now. She's like, what, if I can't crawl on your back, then what am I good for? I'm like, I don't care what you're good for. Go outside. Go find a rabbit or something. Go find a mouse. I don't care what you do. Just don't bring it into the house because that is not cool. I hate cats, man. I don't hate them. I do love animals in general. But cats, they have to, like, go outside and go hunting and then bring in their freaking prey that they found. Like, hey, Dad, I got a gift for you. I'm like, no, you don't. Get that nasty-ass thing outside, bro. I don't want your, your mouse or your... My cat brought a damn bird in, dude. I had to take care of a bird. It was still alive. I freed the bird, saved his life. Oh, anyways... Dogs are so much better. Dogs, man, all they care about is when you get home and going for car rides and going for walks. That's all they care about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes they get, you know, they get scared of thunder, but otherwise, dude, dogs are a lot easier than cats. Cats are just, look at my prize. No, bitch, get that outside. No, I don't want it. All right, so what the hell? Where is this guy at? This is, this part is going to be frustrating for, for me as a gamer. I don't want to spend my entire life you know, looking for one individual when I have no effing clue. Does it give us any idea on where this person's going to be? What is this? That's the shop. We know that. All right, that's going to be us. So J is for journal. Again, a journal doesn't tell us a damn thing. Uh, product... Indica tree, indica tree from seeding, indica tree from seed. Our phone, we're still making. Meet with Marcus's friend and Mark locate. Bitch, it ain't marked. <laughs> what the hell? It's not marked. You lie. Lies. I tell you what. I tell you what, Victor. I don't know where you are. Where you are. Oh, man. Let's close that. Ugh. This is. This is crazy. All right, well, yep, Victor. Victor is not, uh, he's not Marks. We're just going to keep walking around in hopes that we find Victor. He's got to be, you know, somewhere down here, downtown, wherever this island is. He's got to be right around here. We're just probably missing him. Or maybe it's too early. Maybe Victor is still snoozing, but I really don't want to spend the entire episode trying to find one guy. You know, I'm not sure if maybe... Again, like, did we load in the wrong game? You know, is this not the actual full version? Or, like, is this a full version and they just forgot to mark where people are at? We can hold tab to find our phone. Okay, this is, this is our phone. We don't have any messages. We have an old Nokia, like I said before. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, we are just going to keep running around like a chicken with her head cut off. And hopefully we come across Victor. Because, uh, I got... You must be Victor. You got, thank gosh. Yeah, I, I quit checking your watch, okay? Next time, mark yourself on my on my map, okay? That's what you need to do, for real, for real. All right, there you go, buddy. Is that it? You good? You gonna poof away? Do you need more? Confirm. Confirm. All right, poof the magic okay, dragon. Marcus is home, he's a but the rest of the clients later, they won't wait for you forever. Then mark open the phone to arrange meetings. With mark them on the map. You don't have to do it immediately, but you know, the sooner the better. Open the phone and arrange meetings with the other clients. The uh, you can either set the meeting ASAP or pick in a convenient time for the delivery. For you, but when a client is waiting for you, you better you hurry. hurry. Well, listen here, buddy. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta look at both both ends of the perspective here. Are there a uh, perspective? Both ends of the dial? I don't know. Anyways, the heat is getting to my head. We need to look at the both aspects here, all right? As a drug dealer, drug dealers are never on time. Ever. And if you're a if you're a fiend or you're waiting for your dealer to supply you some narcotics, you're gonna wait. 
right? Because number one, if you're a fiend, you're addicted to that nonsense and you're going to want your shit because you're, you're tripping, right? You're having withdrawals. You're having meltdowns, whatever you want to call it. You're tripping. You want your, you want your product. If I'm a, a low time dealer and I am waiting for my, my bigger dealer to bring me some narcotics so I can go sell my narcotics and make money, I'm still going to wait. Because what am I going to do? Go find somebody else? Well, clearly, nice music, buddy. Clearly, I don't have anybody else if I'm using you as my dealer. But I, I get the other aspect of it, where as a dealer, you don't want your clients pissed off. You don't want your clients trying to find somebody else. Because that's not good for anybody's business, right? And when that happens, you lose money yourself. And if you are working for the cartel, which it sounds like we probably are, you're going to be in a world of pain if you don't deliver their products or you lose your products or you get arrested or you just keep your products for yourself. It's not going to be good. All right, so we need to go back across the island over here. I'm not sure what the blue marker is. Uh, buy, buy a bag of fertilizer. Okay, well, we're going to go to the store, folks. We're going to go buy ourselves a bag of fertilizer. We're going to take the makeshift boat across. I kind of wish I had like a jet ski. Hello, what's up, buddy? Can we go across? Day for a swim. Yeah, can I go in? Hey! Oh shit, I can. Well, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. <laughs> I mean, who needs a boat? We can get run. Oh my gosh, we are gonna get run over by the boat. Go go go! Okay, so you don't have to take the boat. You can literally swim across. All right, thanks for the ride. Okay, bye. Hey man, doing a good job. Nice shoes, by the way, you know. Green, dark, and then red. So, we gotta build our guy's stamina up. Is there a skill setting? In case we do we do have skills. Agility, visibility, comfort, swag. What's up, dogs? Give me some swag. Alright, some swag and sus. Yeah, yeah, we're not too sus. Right, homeboy in the red shoes. Oh my gosh, he is gone. Is that him right there? Yeah, right there. Red shoes. He has green shoes on. Holy shit. We're going to stay away from there because I don't know if that dog is vicious or not. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't know what he said. He didn't say anything. He's not a talker. He doesn't want to talk to me. Great talk, buddy. Great talk. All right, let's continue on. My guy is so incredibly slow. New area discovered. Well, hopefully we discover an area that lets us run on a treadmill and build up some endurance and some stamina. That would be ideal because our what's up, homies? You guys legit? You are literally seeing shit, aren't you? I don't know what you two are on, but I don't want any of it. Nice red shoe seems to be the theme. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of cats, what's up, cat? Yeah. All right, we're out of here. Hello, mustache. I need to buy some fertilizer, please. Uh, I want to buy something, and there is that giant, giant sausage, my friend. Giant sausage. Vinegar. We can buy some vinegar. We can, uh, we can buy money. That's 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 new. All right. Do you have the fertilizer? Yes, sir. You do. How many do we need? Where do I put it? Yeah, I want to buy it. I want to buy. The fertilizer. Where the hell? Where do I where do I put it? Right here? Is that my basket? Alright. Um How much money do we even have? I don't even know how much money we have. We have we have thirteen I guess thirteen thousand dollars. I don't effing know. This is Is this B one? Is this like bingo? <laughs> what the shit? Oh my gosh, this is seventeen hundred dollars? Wow, do we need that many? Well, whatever. All right, guys, we, we, we bought bags, pearl. I like to buy more than just one. You never know when you're going to need more than one bag of fertilizer. Now, how, <coughs> excuse me, can I bring you home? No, bye. All right, we have our fertilizer. Make sure we have our clothes on. We still have our clothes on. Are these dudes still sitting there? And they are sketchy, bro. They're gone. Interesting, I wonder where they went. All right, let's continue on. We have a tent over here for medical. We have it in. Oh, hello. Are you the nurse? What what can you do for me? I don't think so. Come back when you need medical attention so we can actually get. What? Dear God, stop. What did you say? Stop talking. I was trying to leave. Um, 
So clearly we can get hurt. So this is a this is completely different than drug dealer number one. I mean, obviously it's gonna be different, right? They're they're different games, different genres, basically. Like, I don't know when Drug Dealer Simulator One was actually. Oh, dude, I gotta pay you. Screw that, man. I'm not paying you. Um, I'm not sure when that game was actually released, but yeah, you can get hurt obviously because there's a medical tent. You know, hopefully we don't we don't drown. Our energy level is going down. Hopefully they have a freaking life saver. Not a life saver. Life guard. I mean, a life saver would be nice too. I mean, give me a cherry one or a strawberry, whatever. Be pretty tasty. So our unfit guy is once again winded. So let's head back to our headquarters, folks. We have the fertilizer. Hopefully we can start making some narcotics because that is the the best part about these games is kind of making your own little flavor of narcotics. We didn't dive into it too much in the other game. Uh, just because we had so many other transactions going on, man. We were constantly selling dope. You know what I'm saying? We had orders out the, the whatever, wazoo. Because it was we were pretty popular back in those days. But this one, we're going to really, really concentrate on playing this game. Uh, getting our guy getting our guy built up so we can get our empire empire built up and we can actually be the top dog instead of just pretending to be let's actually do it you know what i'm saying we're gonna build our cartel to be the uh the island's main source of drugs and i think we can get there but it's gonna take some time man i think this game is going to be a lot different than part one i think you're gonna have a lot more moving parts with this particular game so which is a good thing man i mean i, I like the challenge and I think this one's going to be a little bit more challenging than the other one. But only time will tell. Like I always say, man, only time will tell. Maybe this will be as easy as the other game. But the other game wasn't super easy. All right, we got a text message. Hey, I need some marijuana. But we got to make sure we have marijuana on site, folks. I don't really know what we have. Like, these people want to start texting, bro. Like, listen, I haven't even started really being a drug dealer. I just played a demo version of being a drug dealer. Oh, shit. Victor needs more weed as well. Okay, so interesting. Well, hey, buddy, I got the fertilizer. Yeah, what up? I don't know what to do. What about that journal of yours? Anything in there, maybe? Uh, yes, the journal. Good thinking. I already know about that, bro. Like, what do I do with the fertilizer? This guy is kind of a dick. Not gonna lie. All right, so we need to unpack the fertilizer and put it where? Again, questions I have, but no answers do I have. We got a mixer. Hell yeah, we'll be definitely using that. We got some powder just sitting on the freaking counter. Come on, Donnie. Take care of that shit. Where does a fertilizer go? Can I ask him that? Yeah, it'd go a whole hell of a lot faster if you didn't distract me. So you are being a dick. Alright, whatever, bro. Go F yourself. I don't like you. Alright, where does the fertilizer go? Do we just like do we just throw it somewhere? Okay, it, dude, this game saves all the time. <laughs> like all the time. That's which is fine. Which is fine. In case something happens, you know, power could go out. The game can crash. Who knows? Who knows what can happen? Okay, can we store? Oh my God! We just took the barrel. What the hell did we do with the barrel? Oh no! Where is it? I. I is it in here? What the hell did we do with the damn barrel? <laughs> Are you shitting me? Put it back! Oh no, dude! It's like. We have it. I don't know where it is, though. There, uh, there's our flashlight. Our handy-dandy flashlight. There's a fertilizer. God damn it. Where the hell did they go? Um, Holy night vision. Okay. That's how you toss. Can't drop the backpack in the hangar. So we, li we literally have our freaking backpack. And, like, I can't do anything. Or, I'm sorry. Or the barrel. And I can't freaking do anything. Hmm. Oh, well. All right. So we got to dump the fertilizer somewhere. Let's see if we have options here. Okay. So, yeah, we don't want to store that. That's that's for sure. Because I don't know where the hell I stored that thing. Maybe I put, put it up my ass. Like, I mean, for real, dude, where did it go? Why is it gone? It's just, like, gone forever. Interesting. So, yeah, this game doesn't really tell us anything, dude. Like, I know we played part one, but this one's a lot different than part one. Where, Dude, where does the fertilizer go? 
Like, you can't even tell me that shit. Like, you got to be an ass about everything. Like, that's not cool, dude. That's not cool One at all. One thing at a time, partner. We'll get to that. Well, then tell me what to do with the fertilizer. <laughs> simple, simple question. But yet, it just seems like it's going in deaf ears because nobody wants to help out the new guy. Don't ever be a new guy in the drug world, folks, because nobody likes you. Oh, we have a little icon over here. So the fertilizer goes here? Maybe. Okay, well, there you guys go. The big ass. We bought more than one. The big ass bag of fertilizer just went uh, just went right there. So whatever. Okay. So we are going to what? What is next on our agenda? What is next on our agenda? You ask. Yes, I just did ask that. Grow more marijuana. We have some clientels right here, folks. We have. Uh, Luis, Victor, and Liliana, whatever, with the no face. What is that? Do you guys see that? She is an invisible person. Holy shit. Maybe there's too much marijuana down here, buddy. Did you do something? Is there a lot of fentanyl down here? I'm seeing invisible people. How about you look like, like, like you just saw a ghost? You literally look like you saw a ghost. Okay, bye. Uh, would you... I don't have any marijuana, okay? So... We need to make... How do we make marijuana? Packaging. Drugs. Cannabis. So we have 93 grams just just hanging out. Is that is that what we have going on here? What, what are we adding here? What are we adding? I don't... Dude, guys, I don't know what the hell we have going on. So we have 93... Holy shit, dude. People are blowing... Blowing up my phone. All right, so we do have drugs, I believe. Let's go back to here. Packaging, drugs, cannabis. Um, no, we don't want that. Holy shit. We want. What, what do we need here? Let's let's figure this out. Well, there's a lot going on. <laughs> okay. Uh, so everybody wants a little bit of drugs, eh? So we can schedule invisible person. What the hell time is this? 10 o'clock right now. So we can get you at... This is tomorrow. We can get you at noon. All right. Well, we got to schedule there. What, is she, what, what does she want? I guess I hope, hope I have marijuana. I don't know what the hell she wanted now. Where... Okay. How much view? So she wanted... She wanted two grams. Let's do this. Let's see if this actually works, man. We're going to package up. We're going to go here. We're going to go right here. We're going to go to two grams and then one. And where did that pack and take? Okay, okay. So we got two grams. Okay, we're good, man. Let's do this, all right? Let's, let's get these, these people served up. All right, so let's go to our phone. Go to the old Nokia here. We're going to do this person right here. Yes, we can schedule you for uh, 12. Shit, what time was that? Was that 12.30? Oh. We have two people at 12 o'clock. I did not mean to do 12 o'clock, but what does that guy need? So this is what's going to take a little bit of time, folks, is geez Louise, dude. Everybody, oh, that's just it being saved. This is what's going to take a little bit of time. It's figuring out what these people want and when to give it to them. So he wants, Victor wants five grams of the marijuanas. Let's go over here, guys. We're going to go over to this. We have 91 grams left. We're going to go over here, hit the uh, 5 button, not the 51 grammars. We're going to add that. We're going to pack. We're going to take. We're good to go there. All right. Let's answer somebody else here. Go to phone. We're going to go over to this dude. He wants 4 grams. We're going to go ahead and schedule him for 1 o'clock, folks. Don't want to get too busy at 12 o'clock. Because these people are going to want their weed at the right time. What was he? Five grams? My memory is the size of a goldfish. I promise you it is. Tell you what. Too many things going on at once, man. It just gets a little bit hectic in here. We're going to go right here. Go over to one o'clock. We have Mr. Four Grams of Marijuanas. Let's go ahead and package this bad boy up. Go over there. Go over here. I do like this. This seems to be a little bit easier to package up. So, we should we hit them all, man? Yeah, we only got two more. Ivan. How much does Ivan want? Ivan wants four as well. Let's put him at two o'clock, my friends. All right, Ivan, you're good to go, my my good buddy there. We're going to go over here, go to draws, go to weed. Going to hit up four grams. Call it good. Add that. Pack and take. And last but certainly 
not least, Invisible Face number two. They want two grams as well. Let's go ahead and do a three o'clock. We're going to spend a lot of time delivering, dude, like three effing hours. What that person want? Two. All right. So go over here, guys. We're going to go back over there. Boom, boom, boom. You guys know how we do this. You guys know what's up. All right. Pack and take. What time is it, folks? It is time to get a watch. Seriously, what the hell time is it in the game? Like, I need a. Okay, it's eleven oh three, so we gotta roll. We gotta roll, man. We gotta go find homeboy for our twelve o'clock drug sale. So the issue that we're gonna run into with this being scheduled that that could that that could really hurt us, man. Because like, if we can't find. If we can't find our, our clientele, yo, I mean, what's up? We're going to be screwed, dude. Like, it is not going to be a pretty, pretty sight. So, we're going to go in. Damn, that's a freaking monsoon. Holy shit. Nothing like getting soaked. Um, But, yeah, I have yet to actually see any police officers in this game. So, who are we running from? Who are we hiding from? Like, who is public enemy number one? I don't know. I, I don't. I, I mean, I, I'm not hating on it, you know, because the police were a little, little bit excessive in the other game because it's like those homeboys were on foot patrol 24/7, 365, and they were effing everywhere. You couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't sneeze in public without getting a citation for sneezing too loud, disturbing the peace with your nasal congestion. It's insane, man. All right, so we have a 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. So it makes me wonder what's up? What's up? <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was about. It makes me wonder come closer to noon. You staying dry? Can I stay can I stay dry? You're not even staying dry. Like, what are you doing? Dude, you're like malfunctioning. Um Yeah, so it makes me wonder come twelve o'clock if she is going to just pop. Oh my god, there's a bull. Or cow bull, bull cow. <laughs> what the shit is this? What is in this game? There's everything in this game, man. We can be a farmer, maybe. Let's go in. Let's go pet these guys. Hi. Hi. Moo. What's up, buddy? You want some weed? You want some hero? All right. Well, they don't talk a lot, so we're going to leave them alone. So yeah, it does make me wonder, man. Um, hopefully at 12 o'clock that uh, our clientele pops up on the map. But we have 18 minutes in game time. Which, from the looks of it, is going to be about a minute <laughs> until we get to 12. And we do have two uh, two people at 12 o'clock that we got to take care of, man. So hopefully they are ready to go because I am going to be on a mission. What you making? Yeah, it looks like you're working very, very hard, man. Working in the rain, I'm like it's your typical blue-collar worker. Working in the rain. What's up, homie? Just chilling. All right, I have a drug deal to do. Hopefully we can find our clientele. Still nothing on the map, guys. We're at 11.53, 11.54. Got nothing on the map. Who is our first, uh, our first victim here? First victim is going to be Invisible Face and also Victor. Victor, Victor. We already sold once to Victor. Don't know if he's going to be in the same spot. I likely doubt it. All right, guys, we have one minute. All right, we're at 12. So, nothing. Nothing. All right, we have an active thing. Oh, there we go. There we go, folks. We are in freaking business, man. Hell yes. That's, it. That's exactly what I want. Now this game is legit, all right? Because I'm thinking to myself, bro, if you're going to put me on a damn schedule, you better, you better put these people out there on the map so I can see where in the hell I'm going. My goodness, I can't see anything with this freaking hurricane coming through. Like, holy shiznit, dude. Just insane, man, how much rain. All right, we have, hopefully these are our two uh, our two clientels right here. 
That would be ideal. Hello, I am a drug dealer. Are you looking for some drugs? You are. What's up, Victor? I have your five grams, sir. There you go, good friend. Thank you, and definitely, definitely call again. Invisible lady, you actually do have a face. I have your two grams. There you go. Take care, and uh, give me a call again, all right? You guys are all set. Have a good day. Thank you for choosing uh, my business. Okay, so now... So now we kind of know, dude. We know we can schedule things at the same time. Because now we have to wait till 1 o'clock. But as you guys can see, we literally walked, <coughs> excuse me, a few 15, 20 feet. And it took us like 15, 16 minutes. You know, I don't know how long these folks are going to wait for us. You know what I'm saying? Um, they might just get fed up. It might just be like 20 minutes game time. And they're like, dude, you are so late. Is that a cow? Llamas? What's up, llama? You're just a happy little guy, aren't you? What you eating? What you got? So many animals here. So many animals. It is sweet. It is like a petting zoo. We can pet all the animals. Well, this guy is just kind of hanging out, doing nothing. You all right, man? You trying to get some water in your bowl? Well, it looks like you don't have a bottom on your bowl so yeah i don't think you're gonna get any water it's it's still raining dude like you are literally sitting in the rain i'm not sure how you don't feel it but uh yeah it is uh 110 percent coming down but uh yeah anyways so folks that is going to do it for our episode i could play all day man this game is super fun i'm excited that it's actually out in full version we can really really dive into it and figure out all the ins and outs and it sounds like we are just barely barely scratching the surface of even doing the marijuana deals We'll go back, come episode two, we'll do some growing, see what that's all about. We'll do some manufacturing, getting some drugs really rolling in our system here. Uh, you know, not not all in episode two, but like, you know what I'm saying. It's going to be a progressive thing that we're going to rock out, hopefully, and uh, have a good time doing it. So with that being said, folks, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time.